Hey guys, Tech Control with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the Books app not working on your iPhone. Whether the app isn't working or it's not syncing or you're not able to read any book, it's crashing, whatever the case may be. We're going to show you all the troubleshooting steps that you need to perform in order to fix those problems and any problems that you may be experiencing with the Books app on your iPhone. So let's get started so the very first thing whenever you're having this issue is generally most of the time it could be related to the internet connectivity what i usually like to do is pull down the control menu here turn on airplane mode for a brief moment and then turn it back off and what i have done is quick network refresh so if there's any issues related with the internet connectivity that may be impacting your internet connection for the books app to work it will resolve that issue the other thing you also want to do in that case is go on to uh, your browser here and ensure that you can browse to different websites so that you have internet connection like Google or something simple as that. And after you have done that, the next thing you want to do is in order to troubleshoot it is it could be simple as just closing out the app and relaunching it. So what I like to do is swipe with my finger up like that so I can see all the app and then close out the book app and all the other apps as well if you like and then try to relaunch it and hopefully it fixes that issue and it could be simple as that. Now after you have done that and you're still having an issue with the book app, the next thing you want to try to do is go into your browser. You're going to search for the Apple system status. So if you search up Apple system status on Google, so from Apple system status what allows you to do is on Apple's website they provide all these services and they tell you if there's any issues going on so for the Apple books here you want to ensure that it says available if it says unavailable that means there's an issue going on and you'll have to wait for Apple to resolve it usually if there is an issue going on Apple will resolve those pretty quickly from past experience they usually take maybe a couple hours at most couple days but they'll resolve it there's really not much you can do but you want to ensure that service is available in order for you to be able to use the books app correctly now after you have done that and you see that it's available and still not working it's time to do a force restart on our iPhone so in order to do a force restart we're gonna press and release the volume up press and release the volume down and then hold the side button here till the phone goes completely black at that point we'll let go of that button and then we'll wait for it to reboot so volume up or volume down and then I hold the side button just like that and as you can see here right now screen is just like that and we're gonna wait I'm not gonna slide to power we're gonna wait till the screen turns black and then the Apple logo we will reappear and at that time we'll let go of that button and what we have done is completely shut down the phone and having it reload the code so if there is any code related issue impacting the phone hopefully it will resolve that after we have done this update now this method will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will still be on your phone so you don't have to worry about that now after you have done that and you're still having issue it's time to see if there's an update for the books app itself so in order to check for that you're going to go into the app store itself open up the app store and under the search bar here we're going to search here for books so once we search for books here, one of the very first options you should see here is Apple Books. And if it says open already, that means the app is already up to date. In a case where it says update, which I'll show you in this another example, like a app here, let's say uh, Spotify, right? If it needs an update, this button will say update instead of open. And if that's the case, you'll just click on it and let it update to the latest version so if there's an issue on a previous version it should resolve that for you now after you have done then it's still having issues with the books app the next thing you want to try to do is go ahead and delete and reinstall the books app itself so in order to delete it you're going to press and hold the icon and then click on remove app delete app and then it'll ask you if you want to delete it we're going to delete it and it's gone from our phone and then we'll hop back over to the app store app and then under the search menu here we're going to search for books again and once we search for books here we should see apple books come up and it should have this cloud with the down arrow we're going to click on that and it will reinstall the book app on our iphone just like that and then we can exit out of the app store here we're just going to wait till it installs when it says open here that means install you can safely exit out of the app store 
go to the very last page here under app library we should see under recently added books we're going to press and hold and then add to home screen and then press and hold again and then we can edit the home screen and then you can move it back to the desired location in our case we had it right here so you might just move it back here and then go ahead and open it up and once you launch it hopefully it is working for you now if it's still not working the next thing you want to try to do is go into your settings of your iPhone and then once you go for settings you're gonna look for the book app itself so we're gonna look down here you'll see there's option for books here and if you go down all the way bottom here you'll search see the option to reset access to online connect content we're gonna click on that as you can see this will clear any permission uh, if you had previously from the publisher from the internet so this is going to be something you want to try to do if you're having issues with the books not being able to work correctly on the app itself now after you have done that and still having issues the next uh, the very last thing you want to try to do is go into your settings of your iPhone and then once you go into your settings you're going to general software update and see if there's an update available for the actual iOS of your phone if there is it will show up just like that you're going to go ahead and download and install the update give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes also make sure you're in a good strong uh, Wi-Fi or cellular data connection that will need to be connected to the internet and at least 50 percent or more charged and hopefully after doing the update it resolves any issues you may be having with the books app and it is working again so that's it for the video. I hope this video is helpful in resolving any issues you may be experiencing with the Books app. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.